Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Imam Malik and Imam Shafi engage in a battle of wits to determine the true essence of blessings Imam Malik, a respected scholar of his time, was known for his deep understanding of Islamic teachings He had taught many students, impressing wisdom and knowledge that they carried throughout their lives One day, one of his brightest students, Imam Shafi'i approached him with a question about the concept of rezeki or sustenance. This was a complex concept in Islamic teachings as it represented not only material wealth but also spiritual blessings and individual ability. Imam Shafi'i asked, Teacher, how can we understand the concept of rezeki? Is it something that is predestined or can we influence it with our actions and choices? Imam Malik, sensing the seriousness of the question, took a moment to collect his thoughts. He knew the importance of explaining such a concept accurately, as it had significant implication for one's faith and behavior. Finally, he replied, Rezeki is a combination of predestination and individual effort. While it is true that God has predetermined our sustenance, it does not mean we should sit idly and do nothing. Imam Shafi'i looked puzzled. But why should we strive and work hard if everything has been predetermined? He asked. Imam Malik smiled at his students. Persipisaticity. Ah, I don't know what's the words. That's a fair question, he began. However, we must remember that although the total quantity, quantity of our sustenance is predetermined, the means by which we obtain it are not. He continued, so if we sit idly and do not make any effort, we are neglecting the means that God has provided us to obtain our sustenance. Our actions are a part of the means by which our predetermined sustenance is achieved. Imam Shafi'i nodded, beginning to understand. So our actions and efforts are integral parts of our zeki then. Even though the outcome of, of uh, this predetermined, the process is not, he concluded, exactly replied Imam Malik, pleased with his student comprehensions. And more importantly, we should understand that rezeki is not just about money or material wealth. It also includes our health, our time, our knowledge, as we all ask, as we all as the opportunities that come our way. Imam Shafi'i pondered to offer his teacher's word, finding wisdom in them. He realized that understanding rezeki was not just about comprehending a theological concept. He realized that understanding Rizuki was not just about comprehending a theological concept but also about adopting a perspective on life and its challenges. So we should always strive for the best and make us make use of the opportunities that come our way. But we should also remember that everything we have is a blessing from God, Imam Shafi'i concluded. Imam Malik was satisfied with his students' understanding. Remember, my son, he said, that the concept of Rezeki teaches us to be humble and grateful. It teaches us that while we have a role in achievement of our sustenance, it is ultimately God who provides. Imam Shafi'i thanked his teacher for his wisdom. From that day forward, he carried uh, this understanding of Rezeki with him, applying it in his personal life and teaching it to his own students. This dialogue between Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i reminds us that Rezeki is a concept that goes beyond material possessions. It is about recognizing everything we have and everything that happens to us as part of God's plan. It teaches us gratitude and humility. Reminding us that while we must work and strive, it is ultimately God who determines the outcome of our efforts. It also encourages us not to be awfully attached to material wealth, as it is just one of aspect of our sustenance. Instead, we should value things like health, knowledge, and time, which are equally, if not more, important. We also reminded that we all have a unique rezeki tailored to our individual needs and capabilities. As such, 
we should not compare our blessings with others as we cannot fully understand the complexities of God's plan. Above all, the concept of Rezeki urges us to have faith in God's plan, knowing that He provides for us in ways that may not always be apparent. It encourages us to trust in His wisdom, even when things don't go as we planned. So, whether we are dealing with a challenge, it works. Struggling with a personal problem or force or facing a difficult decision, we can find solace and guidance in the concept of Rezeki. The conversation between Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i is a timeless lesson on the importance of faith, hard work, and gratitude. It serves as a powerful reminder of the Islamic perspective on sustenance and the many forms in which it exists. The wisdom confides in their dialogue remains relevant today, guiding us to live more grateful and fulfilling lives. It challenges us to reflect on our own interpretation of Rezeki and how it influences our actions and attitudes. As we navigate through life, challenges and blessings, we can turn to the teachings of Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i for wisdom and guidance. Their conversation provides us with a perspective that can bring peace, resilience, and gratitude into our lives. Their dialogue tells us that Rezeki is not about having more, it's about recognizing and appreciating what we already have. It is about understanding that our efforts and achievements are just one part of a larger divine plan. Their dialogue Tell us that Rezeki is not about having more, it's about recognizing and appreciating that we already have. It's about understanding that our efforts and achievements are just one part of a larger divine plan. The dialogue between Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i serves as a powerful reminder of the wisdom and teachings of Islamic scholars. Their conversation is not just about Rezeki, it's about faith, gratitude, and understanding the grand scheme of things. It reminds us to strive and work hard, but also to acknowledge that success and failure are not solely the result of our actions. It's about recognizing God's role in our lives and the blessings He bestows upon us. This conversation between these two prominent scholars stands as a testament to the depth and richness of Islamic intellectual tradition and it continues to guide us in understanding life's most complex concepts. As we reflect on the words of Imam Ali and Imam Shafi, we are invited to see life from a different perspective, one that combines faith, hard work, and gratitude, and to understand that our zaki is a blessing from God to be asked to be used wisely and with gratitude. The dialogue between Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i serves as a blueprint for how we should view and approach Rezeki. It teaches us that while we should pursue our ambitions, we should not neglect the importance of gratitude and humility. So, let us carry the wisdom of Imam Ali and Imam Shafi'i in our hearts and strive to understand and appreciate our Rezeki in all its forms. Let us work hard, be grateful, and trust in God's plan. And let us remember that Rezeki is not just about what we have or don't have, it's about how we use what we have and how we respond to the trials and blessings that come our way. It's about faith, effort, and a deep sense of gratitude. The timeless wisdom of Imam Mali and Imam Shafi'i continues to inspire and guide us today. Their conversations on Rezeki provides a valuable perspective on life, faith, and the pursuit of sustenance. Their teachings remind us to strive to have faith and to be grateful for the blessing we have. And they teach us to remember that Rezeki is not just about material wealth, but about the blessings God bestows upon us in many ways. So let's carry the wisdom of these two scholars in our hearts and strive to appreciate and understand our Zaki. Let's work hard, be grateful, and trust in God's wisdom and plan. And let us continue to learn from the teachings of Imam Mali and Imam Shafi, finding wisdom and guidance in their dialogue and in the wider teachings of the Islamic faith.
After all, understanding rezeki is not just about understanding sustenance, but also understanding life itself. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Gara comments, gara question, or everything, just comments or something.